Hey guys and gals, it's me today Rocket and welcome back to the Sonic Marathon and um, the Sonic movie redesign. It looks pretty great, right? But uh, who's responsible for this Sonic movie redesign? Well, it's no other than Tyson Hess himself who worked on the, um, the Sonic Mania Plus um, miniseries Sonic Mania Adventures to promote, you know, Sonic Mania Plus. And uh, I actually covered that a while back, back in 2018. And then the next year, I actually came back for another round of um, Sonic animation goodness with um, Team Sonic Racing Overdrive to promote Team Sonic Racing, of course. So um, that's what we'll be looking at today. So um, yeah, that's all for the intro. I don't really have that much of a skit or whatever to give this intro more flair. So that's pretty much it. Hey, you know, I'm still here. I can help you out a bit. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, I'm, I'm, go I'm going. Well, um, anyways, um, without further ado, Let's get into it! So I kind of had a bit of struggle trying to find out what to say in this review because the thing is, the main problem I have with this mini-series is that it's very short. I mean, yeah, sure, it is a mini series. It's expected to be kind of short, but at least with the previous mini series they had, Sonic Mania Adventures, it was separated into five parts. But here, it's only two parts, which I kind of feel like is a bit odd because they could easily make at least at least two more parts for this mini series. So um, yeah, it's, I mean, they can just release it after you know the game releases, and I'm pretty sure people won't complain at all. So I don't know why they didn't do that. Since the two parts that we got focuses on a team from the you know the video game of course, the first part focusing on Team Rose and the second part focusing on Team Shadow, but of course along with you know Team Sonic trying to battle with them, and they were done pretty well. I really like the Team Rose part. They really focused a lot on Big the Cat, which was really fun. I really like what they did with Team Dark as well or Team Shadow, you, whatever you pick. But uh, yeah, they could have easily done that with the other teams from the video game, Team Silver and Team Eggman. They could have easily put Team Eggman as the as the final part. I guess that literally makes a lot more sense than Team Shadow. Yeah, sure. Shadow and Sonic are you know the biggest rivals, but Eggman make more sense. It's you know he's the main bad guy. So yeah, it would, it would have been interesting to see um, Silver or Blaze or even Zabok in Tyson Hess's style. But hey, what he can do. Eggman did still appear in this mini-series, although he did not race, he just was there to, you know, sabotage the race, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it was still pretty fun that he was here, and at least gave us this face. Yeah, the, the main thing that people are going to remember this animation for is, you know, how all of the facial expressions are for all of the characters. And uh, yeah, I have to agree, that's the, you know, that, like, the high point for this uh, cartoon, and it really benefited it as well, because there really isn't that much they can do with the premise that they have because, you know, um, Sonic and friends are going to be racing in cars so you don't really get to see the fluid movement of the characters unlike these we see in, you know, Sonic Mania Adventures and we're definitely not going to see that much of how the characters are since, you know, the cartoon is very short but the times that we did have enough screen time with one of the characters it was pretty charming, like the, the big part they had with um, Big the Cat trying to get some merch of Froggy, that was pretty fun so, um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I could say. I mean, I guess I could talk about the ending, which is a very simple ending. It's just, you know, Sonic, um, Team Sonic um, winning the race and actually getting a trophy for it. And then uh, Eggman stole the trophy and then he accidentally uh, got crushed by a car and then he got the trophy back. But don't worry, Eggman is still alive. He didn't get really crushed by that thing. He just said he forgot that the event never happened after that. No, seriously, that's what happened. You look strange, but I really don't have much recollection of what happened after that race. Oh, uh, yeah, that's uh, probably for the best. Should we kill him? No way! Overall, I think it's a, a pretty nice, fun animation to promote Team Sonic Racing. The, the staff over there did the best they could to, you know, try to interpret the, you know, the game into animation. So, yeah. I guess I could also talk about a bit about the, um, the Chow in Space uh, animated short that they released back in the holiday of 2019 as a fun little gift to us. But uh, there really isn't that much to it. I mean, it is pretty special seeing, you know, the Chow Garden again and seeing all the nice little references to the Chow Garden. Like, I really like when the, the Chow turned super, a penguin got in contact with him and gave him an eyebrow. Which is, I really, I really like because it's kind of a fun reference to how in Sonic Adventure 2 where Chow got in contact by an animal. 
actually get some of its animal features. So that was a pretty nice touch and there were little nice references. You get to see some of the child from Adventure 2 and all that. It was pretty nice. Not that there really isn't that much to talk about besides that. So um, I guess I'm done here. So with that said, alright guys and girls, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. So of course we're almost done with the Sonic Marathon. We have one more video to go to wrap this marathon nicely because of course this review was technically supposed to happen before the Sonic movie release but uh, kind of got a bit of delays there. So um, yeah, we're going to review the Sonic movie. So. I'm gonna tackle something else to, you know, wrap this up nicely. We're gonna end it off with a big bang. Well, not really big bang, I guess, but... Yeah, something that is gonna be very interesting enough to close it up nicely. So, um, stay tuned for that. So, um, until then, rock it on!